Hey everybody, Haku here with a kind of Franken video almost. Uh, I was planning to do an update video at some point. I felt like I needed to or I should at some point this month uh, before the end of the month when I move into the new season schedule. And in addition to that, I wanted to make a video if I had time showing off like my manga collection that I've got so far. Since I've mentioned before that before I started doing YouTube, I really had seen very few anime and manga and doing YouTube and talking to all of you was kind of what got me into it to begin with. Um, so yeah, I kind of wanted to do a video on that and so I was like, well, I'll just fuse the two together, make it easier for me to have time for them. So uh, I'll talk about my manga collection, show off that stuff uh, after I do the update kind of stuff. I don't have any notes and I'm just going to be talking straight from the heart, off the cuff. Uh, without any sort of uh, prompt and hopefully I remember everything I wanted to talk about because uh, that's that's got to be important. I'll start off real quick mentioning what's going on with Tower of God. I didn't have videos over while well, I had one video over the break uh, and basically I've ended up with this huge backlog of stuff where I just work on YouTube videos all the time like every day and I've ended up with this backlog of stuff. So while we were on hiatus, I started to get through some of that. And I was like, let me get through that and be able to reread the series. And then even when we come back, since I'll be less busy trying to deal with stuff I'm behind on, like once I get through all of that, when we come back, if it's every other week or maybe every few weeks or maybe every single week, I can do special videos. And I know a lot of you want to see Tower of God ones. I want to make a lot of Tower of God ones. So once I'm able to start doing that every week or every other week, uh, I can do these like top characters videos, informational videos, um, discussion videos. I can do those even when we're back from hiatus, in addition to the live reactions and reviews. So those are still coming. They're just probably going to come in, like, starting next season, probably. Because uh, the way anime seasons work, it's how I judge my time for the channel, because my schedule changes with each one, depending on what I'm reviewing. Uh, it's three months at a time. So the end of this month, beginning of the, and beginning of next month, uh, my schedule's going to shift depending on what anime I decide to review week to week. Um, so yeah, that'll affect things. And uh, in addition to that, what's going to happen when we come back from hiatus? I'm pretty sure the Tower of God's going to be releasing at 9 p.m. Sunday my time. It did release like 2 a.m. Monday morning before, and that's why I always like, I was like, you know, if I stay up and record this at 2 a.m., and I don't want to record at 2 a.m. anyway, but if I did, it would take me maybe another hour or two to, like, edit, render, upload, make a thumbnail, do all that kind of stuff to get the video ready, and it probably wouldn't be up, and I wouldn't be going to sleep until, like, 4 or 5 in the morning, and that's kind of a little bit rough to do once a week, so I was like, I'll just do the videos Monday mornings, but since it's coming out 9 p.m. Sunday, I can probably hopefully have it up before midnight on Sundays so yeah I'm probably unless I end up busy that day in which case I'll just do it Monday morning uh, I'll probably end up doing my Tower of God live reactions on Sunday nights when we come back if that is the case and that means that it depends on how the schedule goes with the new anime coming up I haven't decided I'll have to see if I'm reviewing anything on Mondays if I'm reviewing anything on Tuesdays uh, the Tower of God review might stay on Tuesday, or I might just move it up to Monday. So you'll basically be getting both videos a day earlier in the week than you did before. So, uh, yeah, that might be how that goes when it comes back. In addition to those two, hot Q&As are coming back weekly. To me, it's been one of the hardest things not doing them, because they're really what I wanted to build the channel around, and what I kind of did in the early days because it just let me talk to you all and get to know you all and you all to get to know me more. Um, and they were in general just some of my favorite videos to make, some of the funnest to make. So it really has been kind of a struggle not doing them recently and me being super behind on comments is part of that. So uh, yeah, those are going to be coming back weekly, even if the first few, and they're going to be on Thursdays, but even if the first few are a little bit kind of sketchy, like um, not kind of half-assed, I still want to at least get started on stuff so that uh, 
yeah, I can just bring him back weekly, even if the first few were half daft half-assed, at least to get myself back into things, you know? So uh, we'll see how things go. And even then, uh, the few things left on my backlog, since I mentioned that earlier and needing to finish that, I need to make a Patreon, I'll talk about that later, I need to finish rereading Tower of God, um, and I need to do the 2018 Top Waifu list. I just finally finished the 2017 one. Because uh, if you don't know, that was something that I wanted to do at the end of each year, just as like a fun yearly video. I did a 2016 one in 2017 uh, because I was behind, and then I just I made the 2017 one, the notes for it and stuff, but I never had chance to make a vi a chance to make a video, so I just made a list online, and I'll leave a link to it in the comments or something like that. Uh, so I finally did 2017s, and the end of 2018 has already passed us by. So uh, I'll do that one the way I did the 2017 one, then hopefully at the end of this year I can actually do the, um, the 2019 video as a video in 2020. So uh, yeah, I gotta do that, gotta reread Tower of God, and I've got to um, make a Patreon. But in addition to that, I also want to go back, and all the comments that I've missed uh, for the past few months when I've been off and on with the comment section, um, I really want to go back and answer everyone. I know I don't really have to, but I want to go back and answer as many people as I possibly can, as many that can still kind of be answered, you know what I mean? Um, so I know it's something I don't have to do, but it's something I really want to do. Um, and I feel like being active in the comment section is something that's going to help the channel out a lot, because it's, it's just been different not being as active there. Um, and I think that it's something that'll help me and help the channel. In addition to those things, um, as for the next anime season and what I'm going to be reviewing, I've got no like preconceived anything this time around. Uh, I've thought about maybe reviewing One Punch Man Season 2 just because I did a review of Season 1 as sort of a series review um, on the channel before. I could do that week to week. The thing is, I don't know. I haven't read anything of the manga, so that's why I think it would be cool. I'd be giving a perspective of somebody who has no idea what's coming next, uh, but that could be a double-edged sword. Either people will really like it because I'm giving a perspective of somebody who has no idea what's going on, or it'll end up being a Tensei Shitara Slime situation where, um, where the comments are just going to be spoiling me every single week. So, uh, yeah, and I've never had that for a series before, but man, I had to sort of almost give up on the slime comments. Uh, so, yeah, anything else? Oh yeah, so I've thought about that, but basically I'm going to leave it up to all of you when I make that video to tell me what you want me to review, because I make the video every new season where I discuss everything, or I watch every PV for every new thing that's airing, and I make a list of discussing all of them and saying which ones I think I'm going to watch and I allow you to tell me what you want me to review or what you want me to uh, watch if I said I'm not planning to and change my mind on it but uh, right now I'm reviewing four anime weekly two leftovers from last season and two new ones I added this season uh, and all four of those are going to be ending so I'm going to have four new open slots, and I'm planning to at least maybe review two things weekly uh, and take the rest of that extra time to be able to work on everything else. Or even if I review up to three or four, if there's things you really, really want me to talk about weekly, you can just let me know, and I'm open to it. Um, in addition to all of that, like I said about making the Patreon, I'll probably do it sometime next week. I've been saying for a year I would do it. Uh, it's just that I, well, I mean, I see a ton of people with, like, even smaller followings making Patreons, but for me, I don't know. I guess it's just one of those things where you always have this feeling like, oh, my, my stuff isn't really worth money. But it's one of those things where I put in so much time and effort, and in order to keep the channel running, it does cost me a bit, and I kind of, like, go into spending all of my own money trying to keep it running so and that gets difficult that makes it a lot harder on my time and gives me a lot less time to work on things so 
I kind of want to do the Patreon just as a way to kind of help fund the channel and make sure that I do have the time and equipment to keep making videos. So uh, I'll probably do that. And again, I have no idea what I'm doing with it. So it's going to be something where it's going to start off kind of bare bones. And then as I learn what I'm doing and as I get suggestions from all of you, I can change it and improve it as we go along. Uh, just like basically anything with the channel, I just give all of you kind of rain to tell me what to do for a lot of things. Um, in addition to that, we're getting closer to a thousand subscribers. I'm incredibly excited, not just because there's going to be a thousand of you, uh, though I've always said I don't really care about the number particularly, uh, but something that happened if you're if you're a long time subscriber, uh, my videos used to be monetized, but then they changed things to where you have to have at least a thousand subs for things to be monetized. And so for the past year or so, I've been making absolutely no ad rev. I've had zero monetized videos. Um, and so yeah, ads will be back. I don't mind if you use ad block in my videos or whatever. It's your choice. Uh, but ads will be back, and it's not because I want to make money from that, because I will make very, very little money from that anyway. But the reason I want to bring back advertising when I get to a thousand subs, probably in the next month or two, uh, I'm just warning you ahead of time, is because the channel was doing pretty well, and then when that new thing was implemented, views and subs just dramatically dropped to like 10% of what they were before. And then I had to work really hard to build back up from what had happened, and I was like, why aren't people seeing my videos anymore? Why aren't people subscribing anymore? And it just happened basically overnight. And there's been a ton of people showing like, hey, this video of mine's monetized and this one isn't. And there's a huge difference in views and subs because YouTube's just not promoting this one that isn't monetized. So I'm going to be like bringing back monetization on my videos, not because I want any money from it. Um, if it was about the money, I wouldn't have done it for an entire year making absolutely nothing. But... Um, yeah, it's not about the money, but rather about me wanting people to actually be able to find the channel and actually be able to find and see my videos. So, uh, yeah, that's the reason I'm going to be uh, bringing that back. I just wanted to give you all a warning ahead of time and all that. Um, so, yeah, I think that's all the update type stuff I wanted to talk about. I talked about anime. I talked about the Patreon. Uh, the backlog of stuff, Tower of God, which was important to talk about. So I think that's everything. Uh, but yeah, expect that video. Yeah, one last thing. That video I talked about that I do for each season, where uh, I talk about the stuff that's airing, what I plan to watch and all that. Expect that maybe next week, but maybe the week after next. Because last time I did it, I think the week before the new season started, and even then, after I made the video, there were there was new information out, there were new uh, PVs out, so I was like, you know, maybe I should wait till like directly right before. So uh, I don't know. Expect it maybe next week, but maybe the week after next. We'll see what happens. So uh, yeah, I think that's it for all the update stuff. I'm gonna get some water to soothe my throat before I move into uh, showing off the manga collection stuff. Also, in addition, <clears throat> oh, I just saw some. Oh yeah, the reason videos were kind of like weird for uh, the past month or two really is I got sick, like really sick, had a bad fever and everything around the end of January, beginning of February, and I kind of worked through it for the most part. I feel like my voice has just been, like, done. Just, I have to struggle to record since then. Like, it feels like every time I speak, it's all hoarse and raspy. I don't know what's up. But, uh, last week, I missed a bunch of videos. Like, I went, like, five days with no videos or something like that. Okay, probably not that much, but maybe. I don't remember. I went a good few days with no videos, which is weird after making videos every single day for so long. Uh, but that's because I had a really sore throat, and you know how you get when you're throat is sore sometimes and like your voice is gone that hurts to talk that's the way I was so I was like I literally could not record things uh, and that's why I missed a few videos there 